Scotty McClue's National Mega Fall In. Oh, yes, you're listening to the biggest sound around Scotty McClue's National Megaphone in just for you. Back to the telephones. We are very, very busy. Now, if you're wanting to ring up, you may well not get on, but please, I beg of you, keep trying and keep trying and keep trying. It is very important to me that you can say I got through to Scotty McClue. All right. So we get engaged, 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 engaged. Beep, 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 beep. There's currently a high demand for this service. All that stuff. Do not ever be put off by that. The winner never quits and the quitter never wins back we go to the telephones and uh, we're talking to mad lizzie hello mad lizzie hello, hello. how are you darling i'm not bad how's not things bad. with you tonight oh, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you wanting a wee hug or? no i am uh, desperate for a wee hug oh, right you, enough you, 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 a wee hug off me oh, well, hey, well, hey, well. no harm to you in that eh depends what you look like right enough oh, God, it's gorgeous lizzie i mean uh, maybe i'm street depends what you look like well this is true this is true I know I have been listening to you. I hope so. I hope you can get you up for a wee dance if you like. Okay, that would be good. Could do a wee no, no, butter worth. No, that would be good. But yes. you're, a, you're a great performer. You're a great performer, you're saying. No, 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 yes, you're, yes. You're, 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 you're great. Get up. We could get the accordions giving it. She'll be coming down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Are we Kayleigh Gordon Ballock, eh? Yeah, okay. I've got all these things in my head and then we just go... Here he goes again, round the mountain, when he has come in. Everybody's saying, uh, no, I didn't say that, I just said she'll be coming round the mountain aye, when he comes. Aye, okay. But, uh, you, you know, you better... Yeah. Well, don't go too far on the first night. <laughs> eh? Have you, aye, are you an actor? As it says, apparently you said to me, how far do you go on the first night? And I say, it's only to bow my heart. To win. I don't go down that road. You know fine well I don't go down that road. What? I just leave oh, that uh-huh. to you. I just leave that to you and R A F John. I we will not go down that road. You and your rescue chat. I you, just leave we, that to you. you know that. What? We would not go down that road. This is a good clean family show. Uh, and we we are better than a smart flung in, you know. And we're doing very right. <laughs> right. Listen. Um, you love uh, this programme. I do. I'm, I'm so addicted to it. Tell it's you. absolutely horrendous. You're in love with McClue, that's your problem. You can't get enough of me. Don't say that. Mm. Don't say that. You can't get enough of me. Don't say that. I want to hit on your uh, and my what? points. Oh, thank God. I'm not even going to get a chance to talk about Queen Victoria. Well, I know you knew her very well. In uh, fact, because uh, she, pop- she was a she woman. popped into your house for tea. Because she was a woman. Oh, she was certainly a woman. I don't think, uh, unless she, she was, was a man in drag. She was a woman and a half. You don't think right? Queen Victoria was a man in drag then? <laughs> Uh, I'm not I don't think so. I don't you're think the only so. person who's still about who's actually taken tea with Queen Victoria. I think so. I yes. Think so. Yes. I dispute the fact that Prince you'd Philip would be down at the tea rooms in Lus. <laughs> you'd be down at the tea rooms in Lus. Yeah, you would. Uh, what, what? Tell me this. What do you mean? What do you mean? You dispute the fact that Prince Philip was in a par with Prince Albert? Oh, Prince Philip. No, 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 I beg your pardon, I, I, I resent that. Right, right, go on. Yes, I, I apologise, I apologise uh, to, to His Royal Highness for Lizzie's behaviour. Yes. That is shocking. Yes. I resent that. No, Prince Philip is, is also, what, what, the reason he's been likened to Prince Albert is that he is also a very, very able consort to the Queen. Do you think so? Oh, absolutely, and also a very brilliant man. It's put his foot in it so oh, many oh, times. That's so that's nothing for you. You've put your foot in it that many times. <laughs> oh, but no. Don't forget that. I mean, you put your foot in it far more than Prince Philip. Heavens above. You're a disgrace. Look, I'll what? tell you something. I'll tell you something. What has happened? Prince Philip, right, has devoted his life to this country and to the royal family. Mm-hmm. And you can never, ever fault that. Mm-hmm. Now, you call it putting his foot in it. I call it highly entertaining. I think he's a highly entertaining man. He's also a very brilliant man. And I think you don't realise uh-huh. a, half of, a half of what Prince Philip has done for this country. Like is, what? Like well, what? for a start, he's supported his wife, right, in everything she says and does. Now, that is good stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, that is good stuff. Uh-huh. The, other, the other thing is, the other thing is, huge well, his family. His family, he has supported his family as far as he possibly can, as far uh-huh. as he feels uh-huh. he can. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. And he's tried to, to keep very high standards of the nation's number one family. Now, okay, like any parent, he's had a tough time of it, right? Uh-huh. His family uh-huh. have decided when they became adults, they've kind of gone their own way, done their own thing. 
Mm-hmm. But he's still at it. He's still trying to keep Prince Andrew in line there. I think you owe His Royal Highness an apology. Oh, so William. Yes, I, I, I'll tell you. I think you owe Miss Anna. I, 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 I shall apologise on, on your behalf. If, if, you you say, say, if you're listening, sir, our sincere apologies for Elizabeth's outburst. You know, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's our Elizabeth. That's <laughs> mad, Lizzie. <laughs> Our sincere no. apologies for her outburst. She did not mean it. She is a misguided subject. Right. She apologises from the soles of her feet to the top of her heat. You've got more faces than the tin clock. Okay. So there we are. I've, I've got you. For you. The clock. I've got you at the shecht. No, you'll cut me off now no, because I'm telling you. No, I've, got, I've got you at the shecht there. You could have been in the Tower of London. Oh, well, I could have been. Yeah, with the, with the, the beef eaters. <laughs> The yeoman of the guard. They would have. They would have. They would have put you in the bloody tower. And I'm not, I'm not swearing. That's what it's called. Yeah, I know. I know. You've had a few swearers, and you've had a few. Uh, they, would, they would march you up Traitor's Gate. You've had a few. Uh, and say, who goes there? Friend or foe of the Queen? And we say, Mad Lizzie, free Bala. Evelyn, all the rest of them that phone me. Ah, who behaves themselves? I do talk sense. That's the whole thing. <laughs> The reason, the reason anything up to 60 million people listen to me for three hours every single night is because I talk nothing but sense. But you see, I've see? got a person that runs a talking newspaper, right? Yes. And he says, oh, it's up to 300 people that yes. listen to my talking newspaper. Yes. And that's rubbish. <laughs> Well, I don't know, I mean, but it's very good but, of them to do this. Yes, but yes, I can tell you yes. that anything up to 60 million people uh, listen to uh, me that, that every night. That's because you're only surmising. No, I'm not surmising. Yes. The only person who ever surmised whatever it means is you. Oh, you can find me all. You'll come out with curse no, and, and furious and all your orders and you're only surmising. You're, you're surmising. But, 60 million people. Well, 60 million people. It might be 59 and a half 59 million. 59 and a half. So oh, there you yeah. are. That's a lot of folk right now. Might be 59 and a half million if Big Brother's on. Well, I don't want those people. Rubbish. I don't want these that people is, I, I quite agree with ah, them. I quite ah, agree with them that will come ah, back. That's, I, I was ah, quick that's, that's, that's going to my boy the That's got your dander up now, isn't it? I was just saying to my boy the day, they don't make a decent drama, they don't make a decent film, they don't make a decent documentary. But that's why nearly 60 million people listen to Scotty McCoo. Yes, nearly, nearly, it depends on your uh, equation of nearly and my equation of nearly. I'm trying to get you to think positively. (laughs) What a job I've got. I know, I know. I'll phone you later on anyway. I mean, I carry you with great pleasure, you know, but you get awfully heavy sometimes. Well, you've had, I think, I think you could find easier ways of making your money. What, than giving you a coli bag? No, no, than running that program because I think you have an awful hard time at times, oh, you know. Oh, here you go. For I think say, this is my leisure time. I don't make any money from this. I have an arrangement with the radio station that uh, we do what's called a contra deal, and I advertise McClue's pies on other radio stations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I think you've got a lot of fingers and a lot of things, but uh, I don't a lot of fingers, pies. A lot of fingers and a lot of pies. <laughs> no, I don't think it's that. pies. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I don't think it's pies. Absolutely. Uh, you've got a lot of fingers and a lot of things. Well, there uh, you go, Mad Lizzie, I'll tell you. I, well, I'll phone you again, pal. You phone me any time it suits you, because I love you to bits. No, you'll still talk I, to me. I, I think you're directly related to me. Because, <laughs> you know, you know, I, I definitely do. Because you're only half daft. <laughs> That's right. I'm waiting for the other half to kick in. I don't think it'll be long. No, it will well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, darling. You take care. I love Thank you. you. Give us a kiss, please. Right. Bye-bye. 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 There we are. Mad Lizzie, of course, from Bala, causing no end of trouble, and Scotty McClure's national megaphone in. Back with you after this. <laughs> More controversial than ever before, Scotty McClue's National Megaphone In, and it's back on air in seconds. It's my- 